We're playing the feud. Following family feud conventions, we shall be the white family. Name something bought for a child's party. If you're gonna have a child's party, you gotta have a child. These people have never partied, clearly. Name something that makes you itch. Well, if we're talking specifics. Survey says 100 people have never suffered like I have. Wait a minute. You're not Steve Harvey. I want my damn money back. Julius, be a deer. Julius is my editor. You guys don't know him. Julius, be a deer and make that host at least 50% more sassy for me. There we go. Much better. Name something that makes people feel better about themselves. Well, I might be a loser, but at least I'm not hungry. 100 people surveyed. Name that clitoris. Name one of the smells of summer. Jim, I'm gonna go with fornication. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Alright, I am almost positive we are the exact same family. Name something parents tell their kids to do more quietly. Sometimes, just be. Just gotta quit being so loud. Damn it. You know, I've seen a few kids in my day at restaurants, movie theaters, what have you, and they're always crying so damn loud. Why can't you just sob quietly into your hands on your own time like the rest of us? What do most people look forward to doing on Sunday mornings? Well, Steve, I can't speak for anyone, but uh, as a Caucasian, middle-class, Protestant American, I look forward to getting a little closer to Jesus. How did I predict it? Survey says two out of three people are godless heathens. Sounds about right. Wow, it actually won't let me skip this. That's real entertainment right there. Getting to watch an AI win a car, maybe. This time we shall be the Giblet family. Sons and daughters of Octavius Giblet, a very influential man. After all, where would the poultry processing industry be without his invention? Hey look, they're different. But equal. Name something of yours that you wouldn't want anyone to borrow. You know, a lot of people love to be real self-righteous about being an organ donor. Personally, I'd rather not have some greasy hobo touching my viscera, that's just me. Ah, oh, come on, if a man's organs aren't his, does he even exist? Name a place where kids need to be reminded to mind their manners. You know, I've been to a few places, I've seen a few things. I'm gonna have to go with, uh, everywhere? Let's see what the computer says. Grandmas? That's the last place kids need disciplining. My grandma's from the old country, you act up at her house, she pulls out the olive branch and makes you count to three. Name something that everybody usually does. I'm gonna say... secretes. Just what you secrete differs vastly from person to person, but uh... Everyone secretes something. See, they get it. Name a food some people say is good for you, but others say is bad. You see, this is the part of the show where they try to stir up controversy, right? Well, uh, I come from the internet, so believe me, I know controversial. Name the best Christmas gift you ever received as a kid. Kids today have no understanding of what it means to have fun with their stereos and their tapes and their MTV. Back in my day, all we had was a cat's head to kick around, and we loved it. That guy in the middle looks like he just saw his house get set aflame. You can even see it reflected in his eyes. Train set, yeah. Survey says 5 out of 100 people are fucking nerds. Name something which comes in 12s. Well, historically speaking. Damn it. This game sucks. Next on Family Feud, the Manson family coming in for the kill. Metaphorically speaking. What was the first important decision you ever made? My mom loves to take credit for this one, but uh, I could have stayed up there if I wanted to. Name an occasion where a woman might wear a hat. Alright, enough of these fucking jokes. Time to go for the obvious answers. This game is shit. Name something that's made for the shower. The way this game's making me feel right now. Name an unusual place where babies... Shit, I buzzed in too early. Well, fucking, I don't know. The bank. That's an unusual place where babies... Alright. Name a place that sometimes doesn't allow dogs. Most strip clubs are pretty anti-pet, but uh, I've seen some progressive ones that let in the service hounds, you know, for the blind. The men, of course, are none the wiser to the pieces of meat flapping around in front of them, so they have the dogs watch and whisper a detailed description into their master's ear. It really is a great thing we do for these people. Name something you put in a basket. Well, I guess I get to give my fanbase what it wants. Outdated memes. Uh, 
Alright, we're done here.